Hi guys, so it's been over a month but I am back and uni is over for the year so I just wanted to start off this video by celebrating Okay, so what I actually wanted to talk to you guys about today was aside from the top comments on my channel about being my hair looking like a mixture of fire and a fruit salad sweet oh, nom, nom, is that you guys love my accent and I find this weird because out of everything to do with me about everything about myself my accent is the thing that I hate the most especially because it's not even strong I tried to turn it down a lot on videos so you guys don't tend to notice that I am from Yorkshire but I'm glad you guys like it because it makes me like it a bit more and it makes me feel a little bit happy about that now I understand a lot of you guys don't even know where Yorkshire is never mind the culture behind it or anything so this video is just going to be a little step-to-step -step guide on how to be a proper Yorkshireman so the first lesson is language. As I said before, you guys pick up a lot of my accent, so I think I'll cover that first. The first thing is that in Yorkshire we don't use the word the. It's forbidden. Banned. Don't use it. Throw it away. Not needed. The second thing is we say er like that. Er. Not oh. Not oh. We're not from down south. None of that crap. It's er. Don't. No. Snow. Won't. That. Practice now. Practice time. We're gonna have some practice time. Done? Okay. So the second thing is, it's not just about your accent, it's about the words you use. So for boys we say lad, for girls we say lass, and we call absolutely everyone love. We don't say the word going to, we say we're off to somewhere. Okay, so this is just a little practice sentence for you guys, just to get the hang of it, okay? In proper English you would say, Hello, I am going to the shop with my boyfriend. In Yorkshire we say, hello, I'm off to a shop with our lad. And if you want to get really, really advanced, this is a sentence I want you to say. Oh, it's really cold in here. Will you please shut the door? In Yorkshire we say, it are, it ain't have nippy in here, put foreign in foil. And I'm going to explain that to you because I know that sounds like a foreign language, probably if you're American. But ER just means, ooh, um, it's a wee bit nippy means it's really cold. Put the wood means the wood of the door. In the hoil means the hole, so you just put the, you just shut in the door. So there's too much Yorkshire slang to actually condense into just this video, but my best friend Dan Fanasar has made a video, and I will link it right here for the full Yorkshire alphabet. He's generally a makeup guru, but he also has made this really funny video about like things that we say in Yorkshire, and it's quite hilarious because you realise how illiterate we are and how many weird things we actually say. Wow, it is weird. Yorkshire is weird. That's lesson one. So let's move on to lesson two. Okay, so the second most important thing about Yorkshire is cuisine. After all, this is home of the Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> of course, these are the holy grail of all food, so you should obviously know that. But Ali, I hear you ask, what do you drink in Yorkshire? Well, anonymous person pretending to shout through the internet. The answer is, there are three main drinks in Yorkshire. The first one is that you've always got to have a brew in your hand. And by that, I mean a tea or coffee. And what a better tea to use than Yorkshire tea? The second most important drink is ale, and by that, bitter in Yorkshire. And the third, and most importantly of all the best drink in the whole world ever, is gravy. Now we're finally down to part three of Yorkshire, the local celebs. So here are our greatest Yorkshire hero, Patrick Stewart, who lived about 10 minutes away from me in a little town called Murfield, and he's now the Chancellor of my university, Huddersfield. Hmm. But you'll probably know him as Professor X or pa Captain Picard on Star Trek. We also have Lucas Radebit, although I think he lives in South Africa now. I'm not sure. He was a Leeds United football player who left in 2000, and tragically, Leeds United haven't scored a single goal since. And of course, probably most famously of all, we have Chloe Mafia. Who doesn't love a desperate Jersey Shore wannabe from Yorkshire? Full-time yummy mummy exploits herself with a desperate need to be famous by going on X Factor with a terrible audition and snog marry a void. Obviously I'm joking, she's a natural enemy of my intellect. In Yorkshire, of course, we say bye love. But if you want to be really, really Yorkshire, you can say ta love. Hey, why don't you make a video response and show me your best Yorkshire accent? Sorry, I just wanted to say it as well. I've got a second channel now, it's called Stop Ali Bongo. Um, I'll put the link down there. 
for you to go check it out. I'll be putting videos, like kind of video responses on more like daily vlogs. It's more for just for like vlogs, kind of unedited stuff. Um, or just like little rants that I just want to have. Um, so if you want to hear me like bitch and moan, that's the channel to be at. I've also got a Twitter now, which is at Alibongo. I've also got a Facebook you can like me on. Go Alibongo. And I also have a VU page, which is Alibongo. And you can ask me questions on that and they'd be lovely because I'd like to answer questions. Don't forget to leave a comment, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to see more of me. I'm Alibongo. Goodbye. Yorkshire folk like gravy.